All right, hi guys, welcome here this evening, and we're going to be talking about the Chirothin program. Now, we've discussed a bunch already about how the program works and what it does, but now we want to get, kind of get a little more personal with it. Things that maybe mean a little bit more to you, something that makes it more hit home is the best way to do it. So let's look around here. Do you know half of you, half of the people in this room right now are going to die from heart disease? Another third of you are going to die from cancer. The rest of you, if you don't get hit by a bus, are going to end up passing from some other lifestyle-related disease. They're preventable. All of them. Penn State University did a wonderful study years ago where they found that 80% of the cancers, the heart disease, the strokes, the diabetes, the Alzheimer's that we do to ourselves are lifestyle-induced. We do it to ourselves, but we do it by accident. Nobody wakes up in the morning and goes, man, let me go get a healthy bowl of cancer today. We don't do that. That's not what we want. We just don't know any better. Well, what we've been talking about today was how to do something better. The Chirothin program is designed to help you restore normal function. It's about getting your life back. Think about it. Hot flashes, night sweats, pain in your joints and stiffness, trouble getting out of bed in the morning, crazy bowels and heartburn and all this GI stuff. Everyone has these things, but they're all tied to one common theme. What we eat and how our body tries to use that stuff. And if we bring in a little too much, our lifestyle gets a little too hectic, a little too stressful, we start packing on the pounds. We try to lose it, and what happens? We get frustrated, we struggle, so we turn to comfort food, right? Because we know the reality, right? Food is social and emotional. That's what feeds the bear. So if we're stressed out, works hard, we had a deadline, man, we turn for the comfort food. But then our waistline gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And all of a sudden now we got a problem. We wake up one morning, we look in the mirror, and we're like, that's not who I remember. Something's gone wrong. That is why I use the Kyrothin program. That is why I chose this weight loss program, this method of helping the body to restore normal function to use in my practice. Because it works. Now, we discuss the ins and outs and all that, but let's talk about some of the more specific things. Let's get into how it works and why it works. The key to successful weight loss, to successfully regaining your life, you've got to control how the body regulates its hormones. So now we're looking at the hypothalamus, the pituitary gland, the thyroid's in there, the adrenals are in there, heck, you got the ovaries in there. We look at all that stuff and we think, gosh, those are all hormones and I've heard those words before and I know they're tied to fatigue and tiredness and my heart arrhythmias, but we look at that and we think to ourselves, can we do anything? Yeah, I can go take my Synthroid and I can go take some kind of an anti-anxiety medication or an antidepressant and that'll get me through a little bit, but that's not what we want. We want our lives back. Nobody was born aspirin deficient. Nobody. So when you get those problems, you acquired that. Somehow you walked yourself into that piece of life. Well, if you can eat yourself into a corner, then why can't we help you turn around and eat your way back out? And that is what the Kyrothin program does. It teaches you and it shows you a map, a guide, right? It's a way to say, hey, don't turn left. We got to go right here. We got to move forward. This is the way out of the trouble that you're in. And it's not a diet. That's the best part about it. It's not a diet, right? A diet is, hey, don't eat this, don't do that. It's a lifestyle that we're teaching you. But the cool part about it is, we're going to teach you how to live in your world, not ours. I don't need perfect. I need good enough. And if I get good enough out of you, I'll help you get your life back. So I appreciate you coming in this evening. I appreciate you listening to our talk. And if you have questions and stuff, let's ask a few now. Sir? Yeah, I've tried other diets, you know, the ones that everybody knows about. Mm -hmm. I've always been able to lose weight, but as soon as I kind of go back off of it, or I go off of it, the weight kind of just seems to pile back on. Um, is this a better program? How is it different? 
you know, what, what, what's, what separates them from each other. Yeah, you know, and not to be offensive in any way at all, okay? My nickname for this, I call it Pulling an Oprah. You see her do it all the time. That young lady will lose 40 pounds, foot, put 40 on, lose 30, put 40 on. And because she's such a public figure, we've all watched her throughout her career yo-yo diet. And that's what you're describing is that bouncing, that I've lost a game, I've lost a game. Nobody taught you how to keep it off. And that's where the problem came. They didn't take the time to show you how to keep the weight off. It is the cornerstone of the Chirothem program that we use in our office. That is the piece of it that means everything. So we break it into phases, right? The programs we talked about earlier, it's three phases. You're gonna load up, you gotta eat like you're trying to feed a village, which is the most fun part. You can eat all the bad stuff. Then we're gonna lose that weight, and that's good. But it's that last phase. It's the keeping the weight off. It's helping the body create something called a set point. A set point is a point where the body says, oh, this is real. This is a real weight for me. I was 210, now I'm 190. This is different, it's 20 pounds different. What happened? Now, you can get a flu, you can drop 10 pounds of the flu, and it's right back on next week. We can't have that happen. And that is a key piece to this program. It is designed that once you get that weight off, we stabilize it, we maintain that. And if we can maintain that for a period of time, the body says, this is real. So then when you challenge it, and we're all going to challenge it, when you challenge it with that beer, maybe some ice cream, something like that, it may bounce, but it says, oh, this isn't right. That was the weight I'm supposed to be at. And it drops right back down. So it's permanent weight loss. Got it. Yes, ma'am. How does the program keep the weight off? The key to it, when, when you, you have to learn how to eat. And so as you're going through the weight loss portion of it, we're controlling portions and that is so critical. The body can handle a certain amount of fuel at one time. It's like a snowblower, right? I grew up in northern Wisconsin. You have snowblowers. So you're sitting up there and you're, you're out there and you're pulling it, pulling it, pulling it, all of a sudden it floods. You might as well go back in the house. It's not starting for half an hour. You sit down, you wait, you wait. Well, the body's no different. If we put too much fuel in too fast, we flood the engine. And so the body then says, okay, what do we do with all the extra fuel? Store it. Pull it away and store it. Thanksgiving, best example right there, right? You look at Thanksgiving and you think, okay, we're all sitting around and we're eating like we're trying to feed a village, going to town, woof, 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 and all of a sudden, we're all, because the body said, oh my God, you flooded me, shut it off. Pull all the blood to the middle here, let's, get, let's do something with this. When we wake up, what do we all do? What's everybody do when they wake up? Head to that kitchen, you betcha. They head to that kitchen, they start picking, and we pick just enough to start the car. We don't gorge again, just enough to get it running. That's what we needed to do in the beginning. And so the program is designed to teach you what is just enough. And if you learn that, and then you start going to a normal diet of just enough, it maintains itself, you've got energy, you've got strength, and you're never full, bloated, fat, heartburn, reflux, bowel pro all that settles down because you're never flooding the engine. Yes, ma'am. My doctor's worried that my cholesterol is a little bit high. Is this okay for me? Absolutely. It's actually almost the perfect diet for you. We know through cholesterol studies, cholesterol is the key ingredient in all of your stress hormones. All of them. There are none in the body that are made from anything other than cholesterol. It's the core ingredient. It's also the major fuel for your brain. You have to have it to think. So we look at that and say, okay, if my cholesterol is going up, what's it telling me? It's telling me the body's under some kind of stress. And it's trying to make more stress hormones to deal with it. Well, our program is designed to get rid of some of that stress. We say if we restore normal function, if we help support digestion, we never overwhelm the system, we give the body what it needs, then its stress level starts to drop. And so does its cholesterol. You take the bear away, you don't need to run. That's how it works. Yes, sir? What foods do I have to give up? You don't. And that's the best part about the program. You're not giving up anything. The idea of giving something up sounds horrible, doesn't it? Oh my God, I'll do this, but I've got to lose all. We don't want to give things up. People don't like giving things away, right? We don't want to give something up, but we have to be selective. And that's the key to this thing. During the weight loss portion, let's go back to our three phases. During the load phase, I don't want you giving up anything. I want you getting at it. Now, if you're diabetic, you have to stay out of the sugars, but we need high fat foods. Eat, eat, eat. 
during the weight loss portion, that six weeks in the middle there when we're losing our weight, that's when we say, okay, let's give the body good fuel. Give it real proteins, real fruits, real vegetables. Give it those things so it can fire on all cylinders. Once the weight's off and you've stabilized it, then we can bring back in some of those, uh, what I call my naughty and nice list, my Santa Claus list, the stuff we shouldn't be eating but we want. You can bring those back in and we teach you how to keep that weight off while adding those back in. So you don't give up anything. Yes, ma'am. What's the purpose of loading? The idea of the load is you have to teach the body what it's like uh, feast and famine. We're hardwired genetically. Not much different really than a deer or a squirrel. Okay, winter time's coming, you see them stalking away the nuts, the deer's eating everything it can, they're fattening up for winter. Humans are no different, okay? We fatten up. The problem is we lose control of that. We don't have any predators. There's nothing chasing us. We sit down at the dinner table, we're not looking for a lion, you know, every minute. It's not there. So we're hardwired feast and famine, but we've been locked in this feast mode for so long, that's why we gain weight. So the loading phase that we do does two things. One, we're going to really show it what a feast looks like. And we're talking grandiose supper. Think of uh, Hook, the, the movie with little Robin Williams and the Peter Pan, and that table full of all the food, or Harry Potter, and that long corridor with all the food. That's what we want the brain to see. Oh, my God, it's everywhere. And we use our amino acid formula. It's a product that we made specially for our program. We use that to make a memory, to say, wow, this is what it's like when we have everything. So then when we alter the diet, and we shrink it down, our aminos stay there and say, hey, we still have everything. They're here, but we're not putting it in. So it goes looking for it. Well, it says it's here, and I trust him. He was here when we had all the stuff on the table. Oh, it's here. It's around the belly, and it focuses there. So the better you load, the better your weight loss is. Yes, ma'am. How would these aminos affect other medications that I'm taking? They don't, and that's the best part about it. No different than you eating a hamburger. Okay, it's the same concept. Amino acids are building blocks for the human body. Okay, they're like Legos. The body has to have them. They're harmless. They're protein precursors. So we must have them. They're all over us. There's essential ones and non-essentials that you get out of your diet. Some of them your body makes. So these are designed to work with the body. Remember that drugs are different. Medications and things like that tell the body what to do. And they're, they have a purpose, right? If you're in a real situation, you've got trouble, and there's a big fire, you need a truck. I understand that. We don't want to do that though. When you're doing things in a natural way, when you're doing things to work with the body, you don't want to be telling it what to do. You want to work with it. So the amino acids support normal body function and they don't interfere with any medications. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, how much exercise am I going to have to do? You don't. And that's one of the nice, it's almost unbelievable, I know. It, it's, it's hard. It's hard when they go, I'm like, I don't have to exercise, I'm going to lose weight. Look at it this way. How many people do you know that have been to a gym? Right? They go there, they sign up at the beginning of the, you see it every January. January through March, the gym's full. All of a sudden, March comes around, it's a ghost town. There's nobody but the diehards there. So you look at that and say, well, what happened? Everyone's like, oh, my new, I'm going to lose weight, I'm going to go to the gym. And they're on the treadmill. And they're on there, like, oh, I'm so tired. And they do great for four weeks. They lose four pounds. But the next month it comes along, and they're back on there again, doing it, doing it, doing it. Well, I'm not losing. Something must be wrong. I'll add 15 more minutes. I'm still not losing. See, the problem when you go to a gym or when you're working out or you're exercising, it burns the wrong kind of fuel. It burns glucose, which is what moves your arms and your legs and lets you run from the bear. You have 30 minutes of that stored up in your body. Your body says, I got a 30 minute window for you to exercise and after that, I'm tapping into muscle. But we want it to tap into this belly fat, the stuff that's hard to get at. It doesn't do that when you're exercising. It does that when you're just hanging out. So to answer your question, the cool part about it is you don't have to exercise. You can just be you. Live your life. Do your everyday routines. And the body will start taking the fat away. And that's one of the reasons we use that amino acid again. Yes, sir. Or ma'am, go ahead. Well, I have hypothyroidism. Can okay. I do the program? Absolutely. You know, and, and we talked a little bit earlier about how the hormones are affected. There's something called an HPTA axis. It's hypothalamus, pituitary, thyroid, and adrenals. And that's an axis that regulates body function internally. It's how the body tries to deal with different stresses, whether it's an environmental stress, it's a dietary one, it's something mechanically wrong, an emotion. It uses these systems to regulate that. So when you have hypothyroidism, it tells me yours is being pushed too hard. 
and the thyroid started to kind of drag along. It's not getting what it needs. We're going to put in an anti-inflammatory diet that's designed to control inflammation. That means it's going to take pressure off the system. We're going to control and regulate portions. So you're never going to be flooding the engine and stressing the body. And when you do those two things together, all of a sudden that access gets really happy. It looks at that and says, holy cow, I can get what I need. It's just a matter of educating yourself. But you guys can't do this on your own. Right? I'm not out there working on the front of a car or messing around. Tank. I don't do that. I do this. And so we're here to help educate you and teach you how to take care of yourself. Unfortunately, we didn't come with an owner's manual. You know, your car does, right? Everything you buy comes with an owner's manual on how to use it. We don't. So we're here to help you. And that's why this program, the key there is program, is put into place. It's an owner's manual. It's going to tell you. This is how the body was meant to function. You do this and all kinds of good stuff will happen. Anybody else? Yes, sir. How long is the program actually? The, the weight loss portion of the program lasts six weeks. You're going to go loading up for a couple days, right? Two days usually you load, and that means you get to have a lot of fun and misbehave. Then we lose weight. Usually days three through 42, you lose weight. After the weight loss is finished, you have to stabilize the new weight loss. And it usually takes about three weeks for the body to lock that new weight in. We call it a set point. Once it locks that new weight in, you're rock star good. If you're done at that point, you've hit your goal weight, we teach you how to stay there. If you're like, gosh, you know, I've got more weight to lose, the best part about it, guys, we just do it again. You repeat, rinse, wash, repeat, rinse, wash, repeat, whoosh, on through. And it just keeps losing until we get you to your goal. So you're looking six weeks of weight loss, three weeks of stabilizing that weight loss, and you're good to go. And then how much weight would somebody maybe expect to lose, expect you know, to lose during the program? Yeah, everybody's unique, and this is the key to it. You don't want a cookie-cutter program. You don't want what I call a Betty Crocker recipe cookbook type program. It's unique, and it's tailored to the individual on average. Women are going to be somewhere in that 20 to 30 pound range. That's pretty normal. Men tend to be closer to 30 to 40 pound range, and the reason is they have more muscle. Men carry a little bit heavier muscle mass, so they burn calories a little faster. But I've had women lose 50 pounds. I've had men lose 25. I've had men lose 70. I've seen it all over. But in my practice, what I tend to see the most when I'm going along, women tend to sit between 24 and 28. Men tend to sit on the higher side between 26 and about 32, 33. And that's in that six to nine week range? That's in the six week range. Wow. That happens in six weeks. You're going to lose that weight in six weeks, and then we just stabilize. Anybody else? All right, guys, thank you very much for giving me your time this evening. I hope this helps you. I hope it was informative for you, and it gives you a way of understanding how you can get your life back. The ChiroThin program is unmatched. It's phenomenal, and it's the first step to getting back to who you used to be. Thank you.